Bishops. You know, I was actually thinking before I started talking, when I just woke up, you know, about our imperfections, you know. You know, I was apologizing to him for th- some mistakes I made this week and asked for forgiveness myself. And um, and I just said, Lord, how are we supposed to be perfect? We're so scattered. and We're like in this, you know, this toilet bowl. Like, I, if we were all together in a community, it'd be easy to keep his covenant. But yeah. And it is, it is, it's, it's, there's a certain ease to keeping his covenant in, in our own hearts. We, we just enjoy it. We want to, you know, and I, I was just crying or crying out to him and saying, you know, Lord, I don't even know if I keep your covenant properly, but it, it's exactly what you guys were talking about. And it's, it's like the first John, you know, like I even prayed that, you know, how first John says, you know, that if you sin, um, by chance, like, you know, by chance you sin, you have an advocate with the Father through Yeshua Messiah. But if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness, you know. Then you, when you, you guys might make a, a, a fumble, you know what I'm saying? You might stumble, but you don't fall because, because you do rely and you say, oh, Lord, I did this and I didn't mean to. And I, I you know, and, um, and you confess these things. That it, what that displays is the is the man's heart, that he's not proud, you know, because God resists the proud. But those who tremble at His word, He will not abhor. It's a good idea to tremble at His word because that means you love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And when Yeshua commanded those two commandments. Those, that's what those those two commandments are actual commandments they're not what you think they are they're not your imagine oh I have a I have mushy gushy feelings for God and oh and I gave my neighbor a sandwich so I, I or I gave money in the offering plate that's not loving your neighbor as yourself and that's not loving God with all your heart soul and mind so what it is is a commandment they're already written they are in the Old Testament he it, it was magnifying the law. See, that's isn't it crazy? Well, we're not under the law. He magnified the law. So go read what the law says. Most people don't read the law, so they don't know what it even says. Then they talk with without without any understanding at all. And just because if anybody's in here doesn't understand the law, and you're like, oh, whoa, 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 what, what do I do? Just start. You know you. Every one of us had to start somewhere. And the first thing the Gentiles were told to do is go learn what Moses said about the Messiah. That's their salvation, yep. too. How do the Gentiles Three get times saved? Next. How do the Gentiles get yep. saved? They're supposed to stop doing this, stop doing that, stop doing this, stop doing that, and go learn what Moses said about the Messiah read on every Sabbath day. That's If they do this, they will do well. That's Acts 15. And they don't do it. Yeah. So they're, they're, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 